Hey, what is up heroes and welcome back to more Pokemon Gaia. Last episode, we got the 6th Gym Badge. Turns out Will from the Elite Four had become a Gym Leader here, which was pretty cool. We then went to the hotel where it was uh, it was getting burgled. We stopped all the robbers and um, we got a li nice little uh, idol stone that we're going to deliver to someone uh, to the town above us. But I'm not sure what it's called. It's at Sail City. Yeah, so we're going to take the stone up there. I think it's a stone. It was a tablet. Got a tablet. Cool. And then we battled our rival right here and he said, let's go to the diving school. So I'm assuming we're going to get dive, which will then allow us to go west or east. I'm assuming east first, but diving place is just here. Yo, Faltzy, you ready to buy tickets for the diving tour? Yes, I am. Hello, how may I help you? Two tickets for the diving tour, please. Don't worry, I'll pay for yours. Oh, that's, that's mighty kind of you. It's my punishment for losing so often. <laughs> here are your two tickets. Thanks, lady. Ready, Faltzy? Let's go. I'm looking forward to this, alright. Welcome to the Precimos Depths, folks. Now that we're out here, I've got some great news. We're giving you each HMO8 dive to keep. Ooh. Thank you very much. To use dive, just teach it to a Pokemon. Then use it when you find a particularly deep spot in the water, like right here. I'll see you guys underwater. Alright. Whoa, that's awesome. See you on the other side, Voltsy. I guess we can go whenever we want. Oh. Okay, <laughs> if I remember correctly, there is a lot of diving spots around here. Um, let's just dive. I need to teach the Pokemon dive. There is a um, item. Oh, sorry, hidden grotto I want to go to, which is down south a little bit, I believe. Uh, let's get rid of muddy water, unfortunately, and let's go down. Yo, look, look! This is so cool, Voltsy. <laughs> it's it's alright. It's alright. Oh, hi. I think I'm gonna be sick. Oh, I thought you were a um, new elder member for a second then. Oh, what's wrong? Yo, you wanna battle? Go, 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 go. Tall buddy, we should duel. It's time to duel. Oh, that sprite looks so cool. Alright, got a Celio. We are going to Mega Ball and Shadow Ball. Nice. And then we'll Shadow Ball to finish you off. Or not. Wow. Living with teeny wee bit of HP and you get away with it with rest. Not cool, dude. Not cool. Alright, Swag, I'm gonna go for a Shadow Sneak then. One more Shadow Sneak, get through the confusion. Brilliant. Ooh. And let's take XP share off the poor young, because you're getting a little bit too OP now. And we should lead off with Palmon if we're underwater. And a big Pal. And let's go back up. Cool, where are we? Not too sure, but we can grab this. Should have stocked up with more repels. I'll battle you so I can get some more pocket money. Alright, sounds good. I think I want to head back though. I think I know where I am. And I don't want to... Oh, I want to be here, obviously, but not just yet. So I want to do first. So let's just quickly beat you. Grab this. Got to revive, nice. Right, so we're going to go back the way we came. Down we go the way. Right, and we want to go right and then south, because we're at the island right now. I believe if we go, not this way, but there's nothing there. Oh, sorry, my bad. A bit more to the right and then south. There was an island there. Should have hidden grotto you can't actually get to. I'm assuming the way to get there is you need dive. There's a dive spot right here, so with any like this takes us where we need to go. Sup, want to battle or anything? Underwater, underwater Pokemon are so cool. Yeah, they're alright. Oh, of course, la. Doing that bad boy. Right. Yep, we're going right a little bit, which is good. And we want to dive up somewhere, nothing on that. Here. And this should take us exactly where we want to go, because we can rock climb up. And then we found a hidden grotto and it has a mega stone, which is for Absol. Nice. Totally worth it. And then we go check what's around here as well. I might pop a repel real quick because I want to get back to where we were. And it seems like we have a long way to go. Oh, we've got lots of repels. Anything around here? I bet there's a hidden item on this rock. Aha! Five green shards. I knew it. I knew it. Right. So let's get back to where we were. What's up here, actually? Oh, 
nice, got a pearl. Alright, and up we go, and then we go back up. And then we want to go left, it wasn't down that one, it's down this one I believe. Yeah. There you go, there's our rival, and then we go and get back to where we came from. And go down here maybe? Check, see what else we can find. Yeah, I'll pop another repel. 100%. Yeah. Alright, let's go down. Oh, Pop that open. Relic gold. So you can actually take the relic stuff, the relic copper, the silver, the gold, to an old lady at the hotel, and she will give you um, quite a lot of money for it. Which is great. Uh, let's see. I think we have to go left. So it looks like we are going... We could try and go east if we really wanted to, to go to the... Town map to Kala Surf Town, but I feel like we have to go to Edishaw Town. Kind of the way it's. Once they force us to go, but kind of led us this way, so I think we'll go this way, then we can go to the other town a bit later on. Alright, up we go. Got another dive spot here. Oh, it's a big dive spot. Not too sure where we want to go though, but. Oh, let's do a double battle. I'm up for a double all the time. Uh, close combat. Get rid of them both. Oh, that sucker punch. Ooh. Give me a synthesis. I never use it. Don't really need to. Let's buy potions. I don't care. Right, close combat. Oh, you live on like 1 HP. Don't take out my Infernape. Good, good. Right. Oh, and battle you. Hey, don't turn around, battle me. Just because we're on the sea, don't expect water types. Oh, man. I mean, ground types also pretty good. The bear tick. Oh, yeah, we're definitely switching out now. Um, soul. Close combat. I was definitely expecting water types. It seems like there's so much to explore around this bit of sea as well. So we might have to make a few trips back here at some point to go bit more exploring, because... I feel like I'm missing stuff, but I'm not entirely sure. Could be nothing in, like, under the, you know, just the right side, but could be a lot more stuff. And Ethan, nice. It's like a maze here as well. Aha! Oh, you could sneak past me, eh? Uh, no, I actually want to battle you for the XP. Hey, stop protecting. One more needle arm. There you go. Level 43, sweet. Uh, actually, well, we're fine. Oh, okay, and we're at the reach. Oh, hello. Sand is formed from rocks which are slowly worn down by the waves. I'm here collecting samples. Here, you can take some. Got some soft sand, thank you very much. What's to the uh, left, though? Anything? Nope, nothing down there. Nothing on the rocks. Alright. Let's go exploring. Uh, I'm going to switch off Palmon and lead off with... Let's go into Queen for a little bit. That'd be pretty fun. And then I will take you out just for the XP because we'll get level 41. Nice. Oh, that totally reminds me. I need to go and teach you. Sludge Bomb. Nice poison time. It would be very helpful. I'm going to get a Hawk 6. No, I'm not. Get rid of Body Slam. Your Rock Slam is more powerful. Don't get the Paralysis, but it's fine. This is quite the detached place for a young one like yourself. How fortuitous. Let me see you demonstrate that vigor in battle. Okay. Uh, let's go. Sludge Bomb! Woo! Kind of glad I taught you that now, because it's very helpful. <laughs> yeah, Sludge Bomb. Kicking butt. Really kicking butt, wow. Nidder Queen going in. This is great. Alright, yo, what up? You're from Salento Town? You're a long way from home. You must be a strong trainer then. Yeah, alright, I'm alright. Alright, Sludge Bomb. Ho oh ho! This, uh, Nether Queen's actually pretty good. My team is so powerful. Alright, uh, let's see. Left or right? Let's go right. And yeah, it's a dead end. Cool. 
Ow! Hey, Lanoon! Not cool! Lanoon! Not cool, man! Let me run away! Worst kind of person! Damn, son! I'm mean! Alright, yo, what up? I just cursed you! Now we have to battle! Ooh! Okay, uh. Let's not Mega Evolve, because we've got Poison Heart moves, that would hurt. So, Cosmic Caverns. Oh, look at that! The picture, it went really fast, but it looks really cool. There you go, it looks really nice. Ooh, yes, heal me up! Yes, beat you in a battle, get healed up. Perfect. One more fly. Oh, actually two more, probably, because... No! Stop getting health back! It's so annoying! Right, close combat will finish you off super quick. There you go. Good thing we get healed up right now. <laughs> Alright, could be a lot of rock-type Pokemon here, so let's go... Tadis. We got the Lucky Egg. Don't know who has the Lucky Egg on, actually, now I think about it. I think it might be Palmon. That's Amulet Coin. You, you have the Lucky Egg. No, you have... Who has the Lucky Egg? Honestly, I have no idea. Oh, Soul. Soul has the Lucky Egg. Alright, I'm going to give you the Lucky Egg, and I'll give you the Charcoal back. Alright, everything looking good. Cosmic Caverns. This place is... I like the purple floor, I really do. Grab that. Carboss. I feel like there's going to be a lot to explore in here, and we're going to explore all of it. It's like I'm really walking on an alien planet. Yeah, it's actually pretty awesome. Kind of reminds me of Mewtwo's cave a little bit, just the colours. Gonna pop a repel so we can explore a little bit easier. I mean, we haven't run into a Pokemon yet, but we're bound to it at some point. Yo, what up? <laughs> aliens! Pokemon are aliens! Okay. There's a guy who has a man-made Pokemon. Wait, what? Did he trace me? Did I have water absorb? Yeah, okay, that's what he was doing. Okay. My bad. I was like, why, why are you doing damage? I just realized you traced it. Uh, Pokemon Z. Now we'll stay in. Just close combat everything. Whew. That's how we do it. Alright, we haven't got waterfall, so we can't go this way. Okay. That lead on someone else is a little bit stronger right now. So, repel works. So we'll come back here when we get waterfall at some point. I'm assuming not for a while, at least. At least the 7th gym badge, maybe 8th. Alright, so now let's go down this way. We can get healed up on the way as well. Thank you, Nurse Joy. Appreciates it. Oh, how do we get... Oh, that's easy to get. Yo! Show me the gem, Goblin! Sableye! Wait. I thought she was actually, like, sending out Pokemon, but... I was like, oh, that's a little... Like, maze. But it's not really a maze. Oh, you want a battle, kid? Uh, do you think Pokemon have dreams, like we do? Yes, 100%. I'll stop using Fernet, but it's getting way too strong. Magic Shine. Dragon Pulse? Dragon Pulse. Oh no, you froze me. No! That sucks. Oh well. It's fine, it's fine. I'll right, we'll get that in a little bit. Actually, we'll get that now. I can check what's inside this cave as well. More cave. Is it like a just empty cave? I felt like there's something here though. Oh, there will be something here? Do I have the item find? I'm pretty sure I do. Yeah. No response, okay. This has got to be like, used for a, you know, an event in the post game or something later on, surely. Grab a Dawnstone, cool. 
about this kid. This is all about anticipation and release. The fun is waiting for the drop. Yeah, let's break it down. Let's break it down. Oh man. Let's, go, Lucio. let's break it down. Uh, let's go for close combat. See ya. Deeper striker, let's go. Edna. And Sludge Ball. He's gonna let him he's gonna welcome me, but I mean flinches do, which suck. Is that it? Are we out? Okay, we're out here. And on there. Ooh. Don't know which way we want to go actually, to be fair. There's loads of different ways. There's like four different ways we can go. Alright, let's go. Town map. Alright, so we can't go west. So we can at least explore here a little bit. Right. So it leads to this dead end here, but gets us a TM. Thunderbolt! Oh, brilliant TM. Oh no. Oh, we have to go for the cave again? Don't have to go for the cave again. I do. Okay, great. At least we can get healed up on the way. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world. It's not like the cave was super long. The cave was actually very short. There you go. No trouble at all. Alright, so it looks like the key or the way to the right might be the right way. It's got a nice little double battle. Uh, let's get close combat on you and. Well, not return. And let's switch into Victoria. Come on. That sucks. Don't go for a fly, actually, because we're confused twice. That could be bad. Let's see, it's full heal. Exploring this little place is actually quite fun. There's so much to, like, do. Like, some different ways we can go. Just go this way this time. I'm hangry. That means I'm hungry and I'm mad. <laughs> Good to know, mate. Good to know. Oh, sandstorm, suck. Russell, uh... Titus. Season level 43. Sweet. Alright, what have we got down here then? Another cave. And another rock climbing bit. Get some extra Do you want a battle, sir? Legend states that Edashaw was formed by a meteorite striking Orpus over a millennium ago. That's why the Edashaw Meteor Festival exists. Oh, okay, that sounds pretty cool. Alright, we need strength for that, but we don't have strength. I think the only HMs we're missing are strength and, um. Strength and waterfall. I shouldn't really drop down because I feel like I'll be a bit stuck. Right. So at least we know when we get a bit further into the game, come back here because there's two different ways we can go. Up the waterfall and then use strength there. Nice, that was easy. Battle. A seasoned veteran considers their team of Pokemon carefully. Each member must have a role. Let me see yours. I like to pick whatever I like to pick. That's how I pick my Pokemon. Right, let's get some magic Shine. One more Magic Shine, there you go. Easy peasy. Alright, it's gotta be something around here, yeah. I feel like it's an item on this. Ah. Oh well. I think just going up here will lead us to Edishore. Or not. The Cosmic Caverns. If it's true this island was once a meteorite, could the keys be alien? Ho oh, oh, ho, I'm only teasing. Or am I? Dun dun dun! I don't know, are you teasing? Can we go round? Nope, that's dead end. Get that though, easy. And this could lead somewhere. Nope, again, never dead end. Yo, what up? Pokemon can adapt to survive in harsh conditions like acidic water. What about you? Can you adapt under pressure? I would hope so. I really need to like stop using um, Inferno because it's getting super OP. Ow. Okay. Not good. Whew. Okay. 
Okay, so we've got like a ranger battle, I think it's a ranger dude. I shouldn't have used repel. Compared to Edishaw, I believe I am. I think what I'm going to do as well, is once I get to Edishaw, I'm going to fly back to the island we started on, just to head east and see what's in there, but... Welcome to Edishaw Flowers, we're waiting for the festival to begin before we open up. Okay, that's nice. You waiting for the festival as well? Yeah. Okay. Oh! It's starting! Come on out, it's starting! Right, maybe we'll stay here for a little bit then actually until this festival is over, but we'll go explore so we can find first. Is Dad bragging about the bridge again? Oh, what bridge? Have you seen Garrow's bridge? Yeah, I was the foreman on construction. It's only my life's biggest achievement. No biggie! Alright, Garrow's bridge, it sounds pretty cool. Can't wait to check it out. Alright. Fully healed, and now let's go explore this town. What do you sell? Lots of cool stuff. I should get some revives. Some pipers. Some bells, and we're good. Yo, what's up? Did you know a member of Optus's Elite Four hails from Edishaw? That very same train is my son. I'm so proud of him. Oh, cool. Here's some tips. What type does he use? Let me kick his butt. Come on, we don't want to miss it. Okay. Oh, that shiny clefairies or green ears. Welcome to the 200th annual Meteor Festival. Only a few generations ago, the very land we stood on was plummeting through space. The Edishaw Clefairy will perform the Meteor Dance, as in tradition. Let us watch in reference. That was beautiful. How peculiar. Oh, Clefairy, why have you halted? Oh, is it me? What? Clefairy? Why have you abandoned us? Whoa. Oh dear. Perhaps the Clefairy had a pre premonition of this earthquake. Such an event must have frightened it off. Oh wow. Clefairy's like, yo, I'm out of here. Y'all gonna die? Peace. <laughs> you can't be serious. I traveled miles for this ceremony. This is the worst festival ever. You suck, old man. <laughs> this blows. Boo! All this hype for nothing. I'm out of here. Me too. Oh. Everyone left. My reputation as an elder is going downhill. You're still here though. You wouldn't be interested in helping an old man out, would you? This town's all I've got. My father and his father before him all bore the burden of running this festival. I don't want to besmirch their legacy. Will you help? Thank you. I have countless tomes on the Edishaw Clefairy. Come with me to my house so we can plan how to get it back. Okay, now let's see here. Aha! This is it! The book on Clefairy's origins. Let's take a look. The first sighting of Clefairy is in the Kanto region's Mount Moon. Clefairy arrived in Orbit after the meteor impact of Edishaw. An annual dance is performed by descendants of the first Clefairy. This dance has been observed throughout Edishaw. Attempts to approach dancing Clefairy has startled them. Research indicates the Clefairy retreats the impact site. The specific whereabouts of this location, however, is unknown. This explains why our Clefairy fled. But it doesn't mention where it would have uh, retreated to. Hmm. Legends state that the cosmic caverns were once meteors. Oh, it's gotta be that room I went into and there was nothing in there. That's where the Clefairy's gotta be, surely. Perhaps that's uh, because they're the original point of impact. I think this should be the first place you look. Come talk to me when you find the Clefairy, okay? Okie dokie. I'm gonna know exactly where to go. But let's finish exploring this town first, because we might have missed a thing or two. Yo, what's up? This news about the new elders, it's worrying stuff. What if they wake up Reggie Gigas? That could spell disaster. It could. Alright, what's this? This is the observatory. Ooh. Hi. Oh, nope. We received this cast form from some colleagues in Hoenn. I'll trade it for a shuckle. What do you say? No, I'd rather keep a shuckle to be honest. A what? Tablet idol? I don't remember our research involving one of those. I think you're confusing us with the Atsail Labs. That's in the city east from here, across Gyarados Bridge. Okay. We're analyzing a data set from a space probe. We sent out years ago. Okay, cool. Oh, it's a bit broken. <laughs> Let's go up top. Ooh, what's this? It's a meteor from space. This machine has it all. It can tell us all sorts of things about the moon rocks in the it examines. With this data, we can get a clearer idea of how the moon was formed. Ooh. Reviving fossils? No. We don't do that here. 
You're the one with the Redwood card. Surely you know Professor Redwood is the go-to guy for that stuff. I knew that. <laughs> Better can read your mind. You're probably thinking, this guy only uses Magnemite and Volcom in battle. You'd be right too. <laughs> oh, that space is pretty cool. The telescope is on the roof. We see its images on the screen. It's daytime now, so the telescope is offline. You can see some saved pictures on the computers though. Okay. Chandelier uh, constellation open up. Yeah, okay. Oh, cool. That's really awesome. Uh, these are servers. Uh, they store the data we get from the telescope. They're a household to manage though, so many cables! <laughs> That's really cool how you can see a picture of like that constellation. Oh, and we got upgrade. Nice. Now is that this town fully explored or is there like more places? Right, this leads to the Garrows Bridge, but we don't want to go across there just yet. What do you sell? Oh, okay, I guess they, uh, the market people don't actually do anything at the moment. Right, so let's head back. We know where we're going. Just have to uh, get there. Let's pop a rappel. Where's my rappels at? Rappel! There you go. And we're going to have to end up battling some people, so I'm going to lead off with Victorion. Alright. Let's just quickly get back as fast as we can. I think the fastest way would probably be going this way. Because if we go oh, up and then we jump down, take us back over here and we can go and jump in the cave. There you go. And I think the Clefairy have got to be up here. This is my bet. Gotta be around here, surely. No, this is the. Out of the waterfall way. We don't wanna go that way. It was. This way, but we go through here. They've gotta be in here. Aha! I knew it! Oh. So it vanished, and there it is. Oh. Okay, do we have to like, um, come behind it? Okay, so if we frighten it, then it, oh. Then it teleports, but if we, no, if it sees us coming, then it teleports us. <laughs> Stop running, boy! Or girl, I don't know. Wait, where'd it go? The fairy? Oh, it saw me. Okay, it's fine. Oh, you got to redo it? Oh, okay. It saw me. <laughs> right, so we scare it, and then we go up this way. And then we go this way. And then we go this way. And I'm guessing it's there, so we go around. You stop running away! Aha! Nowhere to go now! The Clary is soothed by your kind approach. Hey! Great to come home. Welcome back, everybody! Thanks for the brave efforts of Voltsy. The show can go on. Let's try this again. Welcome to the 200th Annual Meteor Festival! The Edishaw Clefairy will try to perform the Meteor Dance. That was amazing. I was mad, but that was worth it. I love Edishaw Town. That Clefairy rocked my socks. Thank you for joining us, folks. Enjoy the rest of Edishaw Festival. <laughs> that was it. I can't thank you enough, Voltsy. You've rescued not only Clefairy and the Meteor Festival, but my reputation as an elder. I can't ever repay you enough, but I do hope you accept this gift. It was handed down to me by my father. Hey, Voltsy. You're very Master Ball. Hey, let's go. We got the Master Ball. Sweet. That is a Master Ball. It is incredibly powerful. The Master Ball will capture any wild Pokemon you throw at it. Unfortunately, it is the only one I have. If I were a trainer, I'd save it for a truly special Pokemon. But I trust your judgement. I'm sure a talented trainer like yourself will know when the time is right to use it. 
I will retire to my home now. Thank you once more, Volty. Alright, nice. Alright, so. I guess we end this part right here, and next episode... We can get to At Sail City, which I'm assuming is the next destination. Um, you know, we've been to Windmist City. Uh, Apex Temple, so we haven't been to Ikos Town, because I believe we need a strength to go that way. And then Lomas Town we haven't been, obviously, and At Sail. But I think I'm gonna, next episode, go to Presimos Island again and go east if we can to Catasurf Town just to just to go explore and see what we can find. This is a cool little like, I was, you know, main quest because it's on the way, but it was a nice little uh, journey. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to smash a like on it. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.